Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Elite Basketball. Six box, half case, picker team number 16. Sweet 16. Hopefully this will be a sweet break for this group here. Good luck. Thanks everybody for getting in. And Brandon, last spot mojo star next to his name. Good luck. All right. Box one. NBA is back, which is good to see. And it's just what about we got 20 more games or so. Before uh, before all those wacky play in games, which the, which the Lakers will, will probably need if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. So it's going to be an interesting run to the finish. And that Eastern Conference especially is, uh, is going to be pretty wild. Not too many games separate the top seed from like the, the top seed from like the seventh, seventh, eighth seed. Just a handful of games. And we got Jeremiah Robinson Earl, OKC, one of the one of the last teams picked up. Jason with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Good start. Anthony Simons has been playing really well. Dust off his uh, his rookie cards. There's Bam out of Iowa, 29 out of 49 for the Heat. And that will be for Corey in Miami. There's THT. And there's James Bonite, 868 out of 999. And he will go to Corey and Charlotte. Yeah, Brian, we should be having some spring training action right now, but they haven't gotten their act together. I think tomorrow, I think they said that representatives from both sides will be meeting uh, tomorrow. So hopefully that might be one of the last chances to get something done before we start missing regular season games. There's impact impressions, Dan Sell. Uh, you should have given us your shipping address when you checked out, Russ. I'm looking at your order confirmation right now, and, and I have a shipping address for you already. Uh, the Danicell Old School Nugget going to Corey, by the way.
DeRozan playing out of his mind. There's Ayo Dusonmu. 313 out of 999. Mike with doubles. You got Nikola Jokic, star status insert. Five out of 99 for Corey in Denver. You got our two autographs, right? Yeah, nice. Per box, on average. All right, so all the all the games are over. Pistons beat the Cavs 106-103. Celtics cruise against the Nets 129-106. Bulls beat the Hawks 112-108. Uh, Timberwolves beat the Grizz 119-114. Suns cruise against the Thunder 124-104. Warriors just smoke the Trailblazers 132-95. And then the uh, Nuggets, 128 to 110 over the Kings. Scoring 36 in the fourth quarter to the Kings of 23. You got Jesse. Thank you, man. Good work. See ya. Next week. Monday. Nice. Now tomorrow, we've got a, a nice slate of games tomorrow. So the two national TV games on ESPN, the early game is going to be Miami at the Knicks. And then the late game will be in Los Angeles. Clippers at, quote-unquote, at, at, at LA Lakers. of a disappointing season for both both LA teams. I think both LA teams were thinking were thinking that they'd be closer to the you know upper half of, of the Western Conference but are there gonna be more baseball breaks that are gonna be listed? Yes. There will be. We got Santi Aldama for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's going to go to Anthony. Yeah, injuries just haven't been kind to both teams. Carmelo's been injured for a while, and he had started off the season well. You know, and the Lakers aren't constructed to to be able to absorb those uh, those injuries. This guy's been playing well though. And we got a Luca Garza, 304 out of 999 for Detroit. That'll be for Chad B. I saw your chat, your uh, comment in the chat earlier, Chad. He was like, hey, appreciate all the Luca Garzas, but can we find his teammate somewhere? Maybe. Still have a lot of boxes to go.
find that uh, the Cape Cunningham. And we got Michael Ray Richardson, Impact Impressions. Colin Cowher has suggested LeBron get traded. Chang with the Knicks. Hey. It's all about ratings, right? You say something crazy and then remember Chris Broussard over the weekend was talking about, uh, I don't know, Anthony Davis getting traded to the Heat for Jimmy Butler and somebody, which is obviously crazy talk. You know, for... Jim, and so he gets a bunch of clicks. He gets what he needs over the weekend. I don't put too much stock in those guys. There's a Miles McBride rookie card, six out of two ten. I like these orange parallels. These are these really pop. Nice little color match too. Matches the the orange right there. Uh, Sheng with the Knicks. Another box down. I mean, what could, what, could, what could you even? I don't think you'd really even get full value for this. This is like when people are like, uh, people are like, oh, they should trade Mike Trout. Angels should trade Mike Trout. I mean, what, what are you really getting for Mike Trout? I don't think any team would give up what Mike Trout's actual value would be in a trade. Yeah, Angels might be even worse without Trout, right? <laughs> we'll try. We'll try, Russ. Nothing. It's not guaranteed, though. That's the that's the risk in these group breaks. No need for the caps either. A little, a little aggressive there. Box, third box, good luck. We got a Scotty Barnes. Eight six four out of nine nine nine. Now, I feel like there's a tiny little corner issue here, but but nice Scotty Barnes for last spot mojo Brandon. Nice. No, all good, Russ. Yeah. 
And we got a TJ McConnell autograph. 20 out of 25. Pacers, Jeremy. Was it TJ McConnell that had like a like a 20 assist game or something crazy like that last year? There's Malik Beasley, 46 out of 49. That is for Max and Minnesota. We got a Miles McBride Pen Pals autograph, 10 out of 35. Uh, for the Knicks, Sheng with the New York Knicks. And I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick little recap at the end of this video too. Usually for breaks that are kind of base heavy or maybe 30 minutes or longer, we'll do a. I'll do a quick recap. And there's a Josh Giddy die cut. Six out of 97. I don't know what these die cuts are going for, but still nice. Uh, Jason with OKC. Nice. All right, we are now halfway through this half case break. Next box. Whoa, really? So that die cut, people are asking five to seven hundred on that Josh Giddy die cut to ninety seven. Wow. Thank you. 
<laughs> You're trying to, Corey's trying to speak a, a train whistle into existence here? I don't think, when, when's the last time? I think it's been a minute or two since we've seen a train whistle. There's another Luca Garza, 960 out of 999. And we got an Emmanuel quickly die cut. 95 out of 95 for the New York Knicks. That's going to be for Shang. And we got a Frank Jackson impact impressions autograph. For the Motor City, Chad B. With... Detroit. Have I hit the club lately? Yeah, I've, I've, I've hit the club, the driving range, working on my swing. There's a Scotty Lewis rookie card, 125 out of 210. The Charlotte Hornets, that's going to be for Corey. Star status, Damian Lillard to 49. That's for Portland. That's for Corey. And Terrence Mann, 23 out of 99 for the Clippers for Corey. Wasn't Terrence Mann James Earl Jones' character in Field of Dreams? Ooh, a redemption. What could that be? Who could that be? Let's find out. Thanks to Moses Brown for the assist here. Go the distance. You saw it too. Pen Pals Purple. Purple parallel, pen pals. We got a S. C. O. T. T. I. E. Barnes. Wow, didn't we hit one in the first half? I was not expecting it in the second half. Not another pen pals autograph. Brandon with the Toronto Raptors. Scared money don't make money, ladies and gentlemen. What's the purple parallel number to? Yeah, that last spot mojo, people say 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. No, thank you, Brandon. It's purple to 49, Oliver's thinking. Sometimes you got to take that risk. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Scotty Barnes pulled in the first half. Not going to buy the Raptors in the second half. No way. 
But scared money don't make money. Fortune favors the bold. And it was the last spot taken. It was sitting there for everyone had a chance at it. Right up until the end, everyone had a chance at grabbing the Raptors. Yeah, hey, I just wanted to put the full disclosure out there. But I'm glad you still took the risk. Yeah, Brandon's saying purple to 25. So what's that What's that going for? Have any of those been pulled yet? Are there any on a, uh, a popular secondary market? Oliver's thinking eight, eight to a thousand maybe? That'd be nice. I might even think about I mean, I don't know what uh, what Brandon's collecting style is, but but uh, I would almost hold that. I mean, Raptors are in a playoff position, right? If the Raptors are, if maybe the Raptors slip into like the fifth or sixth seed, they've been playing really well, you know. And if Scotty Barnes looks good in the first round of a playoff series, that could get that could get. Toronto and and the North very excited. Getting <laughs> the entire country of Canada very excited. Ooh, Brandon saying to be fair, I was trying to get the get the Rockets, but it was taken. And Cobra Core, who has the Rockets, I almost took the Raptors, but chose the Rockets instead. See, it's moments like that. It's what makes. What makes this exciting? This whole group breaking thing exciting. The highs and the lows. The near misses. And wow, a Josh Giddy. 234 out of 999 for OKC for Jason. That's another one. It's been a really nice break. It's been a really nice case. If you watch the first case, watch the second case. So Oliver saw a, a purple pen pal Scotty Barnes on auction about five ninety eight, with some time left. Hey, you're welcome, Jason. That was another late pickup. OKC was just sitting there. I think it was one of the last few teams that were taken. And now, two big, two big uh, giddy cards. <laughs> yeah, OKC owner feeling a little giddy. Kyle Anderson to 49. And a Franz Wagner. 49 out of 49. Moe's brother. And that'll be for the Orlando Magic. Cody. There you go, Cody. He's, he's been playing pretty well, too. Only 13 wins for Orlando, but they've got a they've got a couple guys there that are gonna be pretty interesting. And here's Franz Wagner again, rookie card. 81 out of 99. Cody, yeah, great case, right? You got a Franz Wagner autograph. Yeah, Oliver looked it up, 200 plus for that. And another, another Franz Wagner rookie card, which is also nice.
And there's die cut. Jalen McDaniel, 14 out of 49. Corey and the Hornets. Stat of the night. Sponsored by nobody. And all we're saying that out of 99 from, see? Even better, Cody, right? Thanks for getting in, man. And we got J.J. Reddick. I like that he called that Zion. All right, and um, that will be for Dallas. That's going to go to Mike Joseph. Brandon saying, you're scared to hold on to Donner's Elite cards? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I guess by the end of this by the end of the year there'll be a ton of basketball products. Maybe people like Elite. I feel like uh I feel like he I feel like Elite holds up? No, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not as much as like Prism. Or whenever all the other sort of bigger products come out. I know, that, that's what I just said. Jazzy J? Yeah, JJ Reddick. I mean, I think I think he's right, though. I don't. Th it didn't seem like it was like a hot take kind of thing. You know? It wasn't like a hot take kind of thing. He was right. Yeah, you got a new co-worker joining your team. Shoot him a text. Right? Say hi. Welcome to the team. You got to do that. Especially a vet veteran like CJ McCollum. He's been in the league a long time. Show some respect. All right, last box. Here's the first half. Yeah, I don't know why he's on it. Well, apparently, Oliver, since like last, I think for the last few months, he's been at, in Portland. At the Nike facility, apparently. Just rehabbing, working out. But that's where, that's where he's been. He's not even in New Orleans. I don't know. That's not a, I don't know if that's a good look. I think he might be feeling himself too much, Zion. He's like, man, I'm Zion. Man, I got Mountain Dew money. You know, so maybe he's feeling himself a little too much. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Don't knock bonbons, Brandon, saying they're delicious. Do they still make those anymore? Ooh, another Franz Wagner. Franz Wagner? Or am I just going to Americanize it? Frank Wagner. Wagner. Uh, 910 out of 999. Franz Wagner for Cody Harrington. Cody with a K. No, yeah, I mean, def definitely, it's definitely like a kid move, right? Where you're like, come on, man. <laughs> like, uh, 34 out of 96, Derek Rose. I think he's going to come back soon, too, for the Knicks. That's going to be for Shang. And we got a Sean Kemp autograph, 4 out of 25. Supersonic stuff, of course, goes to Jason and OKC. There you go, Jason. Oh, you make bonbons. I mean, 
if some ended up on our doorstep <laughs> during the Christmas season, I don't think we'd mind, Brandon. I don't think the team would mind. But do they do they do they mass produce bonbons anymore? I feel like I've not seen that in a in a f frozen section in a long time, unless I'm not looking in the right spot. And we got a Jason Preston, seventy three out of ninety nine for the clip show. That'll be for Corey and the Clippers. Here's Kemba Walker, nineteen ninety nine. That's Prince. Where does he end up? They're shutting him down. Probably going to trade him. And turn of the century autograph for the Spurs. Rod Strickland. Three out of 25. And that'll be for Russell and the San Antonio Spurs on the board. And that, my friends, and there's Paul George at the end. That, my friends, is that. That was Pick Your Team Sweet 16 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Quick little recap here. Thanks for breaking. Thanks for watching. Well, this turned out to be a really nice case overall. Another Scotty Barnes, this time with a parallel. More Scotty Barnes, rookie cards, etc., etc. What a great break. What a great case. There's more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.